Hi everyone and welcome to the Guidewell Insights Lounge. We're here on location at the Oliver Wyman Health Innovation Summit. My name is Kate Warnock and I'm so pleased to bring a social media maven to our set. Her name is Jen Denard. Jen, welcome to the interview. Thank you for having me. Jen is the founder of Health IT Chicks and you have done a number of things in your career. Let's talk a little bit first about this, this amazing community that you have started and you're going to be featuring a guest today um, on your Health IT chat, I think at noon, noon right. central time. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tee that, that up for us and tell us a little bit more about it. Well, Health IT Chicks got its start about four years ago as a tweet chat. Um, I just noticed that there was a lot of energy around women on Twitter using social to connect who are working in healthcare technology. It's and it's, it's just grown up like gangbusters. We have a LinkedIn group with about 400 plus women and men. Uh, we have monthly tweet chats. And the folks at Oliver Wyman were kind enough to invite me to have our monthly chat here at the, at the summit. So I'm so excited that uh, Sukanya Soderland mm. of Oliver Wyman is gonna be hosting. So she and I are gonna get together downstairs in just a little bit and do um, a tweet chat slash meet up so it's going to be in real life and online so it's going to be great she's she's really excited about talking about digital and its impact in healthcare. Um, she's going to bring a very unique payer perspective which we haven't had in the past so um, I'm excited to see what she'll she'll generate as far as conversation topics. So Kanye is fantastic. We were able to interview her at AHIP this year, so okay. I think that you're going to have such wonderful content for your audience. So for folks who are interested in following along, tell them the hashtag. The, hashta the hashtag is healthitchicks, C-H-I-C-K-S. Perfect. We have a LinkedIn group. Just Google that and you'll find it. Um, and yeah, follow the hashtag. Uh, we have monthly chats. We do in-person events occasionally. So check us out. All right. Well, Jen, you know, again, looking back at your background, um, you know, you've identified and we, it's unfortunate that there is such a disconnect in gender representation, especially around health, healthcare IT. What are some of the solutions that you've identified that will help close that gap? Well, in talking with other women, organizations, men about, about the issue, which really seems to have kind of bubbled up and gained, gained steam over the last year, year and a half, um, it all starts with awareness and benchmarking. So taking a look at what your individual organization is doing um, in terms of wage, if, you, there's, a, if there's a wage disparity, um, the number of women that are in the C-suite on your board, what's the pipeline like to internally promote women within your organization? Do you have the resources to um, you know, help propel women forward? Even women who are re-entering the workforce after they've taken time off for having kids, um, so it's important to kind of set a benchmark, and I don't know if you and your viewers are aware of an organization called HIMS, mm -hmm. but they have uh, done a fantastic longitudinal study looking at wage differences, I believe between 2006 and 2015, so it's a pretty big study, yeah. and it shows that the wage gap is actually widening year over year, and so that's a good place to start. Take that to your employer and say, hey, you should be aware of this. You know what? What are we doing to to kind of diffuse that and reduce that reduce that gap? So. Excellent. Well, I think again with the, the guests that you bring on your chat, the conversations that you you have, it really does help to educate people on the issues and and maybe hopefully empower them too to see these women in a leadership position, inspire them to take their own action. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> so um, you have recently branched out a little bit. You're not just on Twitter and, and on LinkedIn. You are now co-host of HIT Cast, Hitcast. That's right. And um, I wondered what is it that you were hoping to gain by going into that podcast medium? What were some of your goals? Well, I don't like to be bored, <laughs> so um, I, you know, podcasting is something that's obviously been around for a while. I decided, you know, I need to flex my creative muscles, learn a new skill, and the folks at Health Standards, which is a fantastic blog for folks working in healthcare mm -hmm. IT, they reached out and said, hey, how about you be the co-host with my good friend Chad Johnson? And so um, we've wrapped up our first season I guess about a month or so ago. We're, our second season is going to be launching in November with Dell's uh, Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Nick Van Terhaden. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Um, Nick. At Dr. Dr. Nick, Nick on, on, on Dr. Twitter. Nick, yes. Yeah, he's, he's fantastic. So do listen in for that. He's got some really great uh, tips on how to select the proper whiskey and scotch. So Who doesn't want to hear that? 
really lots of good stuff so it's 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 fun but it's also really great content having listened to several of your podcasts highly recommend it you can find it on iTunes and on Google Play too correct that's right one last question for you Jen you know you've been watching health IT trends for years and I wonder what has you most excited about how we can really help transform the healthcare industry from the outside in it's one of the major overarching themes for the health for the Oliver Wyman Health Innovation Summit what has you excited and what do you think can really help us really move that engagement forward I am really excited about the intersection of behavioral health and primary care mm-hmm. mental health care is something that has not been talked about um, and now it seems that people patients consumers what have you providers are getting more comfortable with saying we need these resources available to us and there's some great telemedicine companies that are doing work with behavioral health. Um, I had the opportunity to go on an Oliver Wyman immersion tour yesterday. We went to Oak Street Health which is a uh, primary care clinic for Medicare patients and they are doing telepsychiatry for their patient population. So there's to me there's a need across all age groups, all income levels, Um, If you haven't had mental health issues, chances are you know someone who has. And it's not something that people think they can easily go find care for. So to have, to see these companies coming up with either text-based messaging apps specifically for health, for mental health care or telemedicine solutions, I think um, is is very exciting. You know, I love that you really singled that trend out because, um, you know, we just have uh, Alexandra Drain uh, is one of the, one of the speakers and she's moderating a panel right now uh, here at the summit all around um, how human connection, connection and empathy is so critical to any kind of engagement and how that makes business sense but it just makes human sense doesn't I agree. it yes I agree. so and one more plug um, talking about mental health you know, Guidewell Innovation is going to be hosting uh, an immersion event in August of next year around mental health and okay. how we can help really improve the experience and we're looking at it from many different angles from payers providers patients and caregivers too so um, I would love to get you involved in that That conversation (laughs) and anyone who is watching us now uh, check us out at guidewellinnovation.com well Jen you have been fantastic here on the lounge and let's let's have you again give one more um, you know the specifics around the chat that you're going to be hosting today and how folks can find you the chat kicks off at 12 noon central time it'll be last an hour in person it'll be about 30 minutes perfect and look for us on LinkedIn too Terrific. All right. Well, with Jen uh, joining us and, and uh, lots of, lots more guests coming up in just a few minutes, I hope that you keep watching us live here at the Oliver Wyman Health Innovation Summit. My name is Kate Warnock. Thank you for watching.